everyone. I am in my apiary today and one of my jobs is to put open brood next to my queen cells. And that's because they are about to emerge and I am over what I have for nukes. And so I do not have an incubator at home. I let the girls incubate my cells. And in order for them to be well fed, as soon as they emerge, you must have open brood next to the cells. So let's take a look. First, this is my bank or nursery, depending on what you want to call it. And it's above a queen right hive. This is because I have had temperatures down into the 30s and I don't want any of my cells to even be remotely cold. This is the queen right hive. This is the queen excluder. And this is the U-shaped entrance that accommodates a cloak board. The queen right can supply bees and open brood for me. The queen cells are above so no rogue queens. One of the things you want to do if you are banking or have a nursery, check all the time for rogue queen cells. It happens and it happens and it happens and it's sad, but the more you check, the more times you're gonna catch it. Right now, my queen cells are in cages, so they're not gonna be torn down. This is my cloak board that will, this here is my cloak board that tonight, before I leave, I'm going to put in and essentially make this a queenless hive so that when the queen cells emerge, they emerge into a queenless hive. But my job first is to bring in open brood so that more nurse bees go up into that hive and ensure that there's enough nurse bees to feed those queens. This is the queen right section. I'm going to be taking open brood from this and putting it here, which is my actual bank. I have two bars of cells, a total of 22 cells, and I have to take out the frames that have no open brood and replace it with some open brood, especially this middle bar, to ensure that I have the nurse bees up there.
There's an ice frame pollen that mostly what I'm taking out is already emerged and honey. So you don't need that much honey. I'm feeding up there. They already have a frame or two. That'll be enough to hold them. What I need is that open brood. Everything is honey now because they're just bringing it in fast and furious. That's got plenty of open brood, a little bit of capped. And so that besides me looking for the queen, I'm going to shake it off. If I'm not careful, even this one will swarm on me. So I have to consider in the next day putting on a new medium so that she can build out further. I'm gonna to try to steal more from her though so that I have a little time with that. This frame is all eggs. That won't help me that much for the day. Got the queen right here. She's all the way over. I would have to say maybe those eggs are probably only a day from emerging, so I'm gonna take that frame of eggs. And yes, even though the I just saw the queen, I still shake just to be sure. Putting some back. I'm talking on my video.
I'm going to cut to the chase and give myself some more time. So I'm inserting an absolutely foundationless piece. And that way I have a day for her to build that. That way they will feel the room and maybe not swarm on me until I get a new box going. That's one thing about the foundation list that I do like. It tends to give you a little bit of time to split them open because these frames that I took out are full of uh, nectar and that's just clogging her up more. So I'm going to find an open worker frame and give her that and these will be donated to another hive while I look for more frames from another hive. Okay. I gave her an open frame. The queen is still down below. The queen excluder goes on and the box will go back on top. This has been the main entrance for the hive for the last week or so. When I open up the back, which is closed, they'll fly out from the back and come to the front. That's the idea even with the cloak system. I'm using it as a banking system. And again, which was the premise of this video, my queen bars are now set between open brood, open brood, and open brood. That way, in the next few days when they emerge, they will have plenty of nurse bees that have been lured upstairs before the cloak board goes in. The other way to lure them back up top is to give them a little bit of feed. They don't really drink a lot of it because there's so much blooming here. They will come up. Now, Okay, so that's my bank or a nursery. When they emerge, whether you have them in an incubator at home or in a bank, the bank you have a few more hours to get to them. But one of the things is there's a cell here and they can, the queens can crawl back up in that cell. When they do that, they're trying to get to their feed because there's no feed and maybe some of the bees may be ignoring them or whatever. You can actually put a little candy in the bottom of that roller cage while they, just as before they emerge or as you find them emerged. But the one thing you have to do is knock that wax cell off there. She'll crawl up in there and get stuck and you don't want that. So you have a few hours, maybe a day. Hopefully your bees will be feeding them, but if you're incubating them, you only have a few hours to go put them where they're going to be fed or released into a nuke or whatever you're going to do with them. Queen banking. Also, the other part of putting, like I grabbed some frames that had some eggs. Well, in four days, they may be making a queen cell out of those girls too. 
So once again, you have to be vigilant. Go in, shake the bees off the frame, knock down the queen cells, or if you want those queen cells, cut them out and put them somewhere. The reason I was allowed, I could take this box off for as long as I did while I found this brood frames is because they're already hardened off. They're gonna emerge in the next 24 to 48 hours. Yeah, 24 to 48 hours. So they're hardened off and it's warmish day, but in the evening it gets hot. So I've got to put that entrance reducer back in. It's in the 30s at night. It's like 39, not, not very cold, you know, if you're in New York or Maine, but for down here, 39 or, I mean, you might as well be having snow. So I hope that answered a few questions about a bank or a nursery. Basically they're used the same way. You have to always be adding new frames of brood. Make sure you have cap brood that emerges. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them below in the comments and I'll see what I can answer. I don't know everything, but I have been around a little while. So until next time, happy beekeeping. I hope all your bees are being well fed and are warm and toasty. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, and until next time, happy beekeeping.